Hey, Miss Deborah. May I ask who's calling? Oh, Miss Deborah, this is Peter. Are you doing all right? Yeah. Good. Happy Happy Easter. Any fun playing? Happy Easter. Oh yeah. No. Yeah, I got a I got a few hours here before I gotta head out and get ready to get my kids some Easter Easter presents. But I was calling you here. Um, you, you sent in a request on book. I see here you listed that your children would be your beneficiaries. Is that right? Correct. Okay, and I'm seeing here. Let me just make sure I got this right here. Um, I'm seeing here that you currently don't have any coverage. Were you just uh, looking to leave something behind for the family? Or are you just trying to cover like the burial expenses? I'm just trying to cover the burial expenses and leave a oh. little bit. Oh, uh, okay. So cover the burial expenses and then maybe a little extra behind for the kiddos. Yeah. No, oh, makes sense. And I'm seeing here um, that you were diagnosed after the age of 50. Is that right? Oh, perfect. Yeah. Well, we specialize in helping us and you know what we do here for you is that we work with like all the 26 companies here in the state. Miss Deborah, and I'm going to kind of just look through them and see if I can help you find the most affordable and best plan for you here with your with your age and your health. Uh, are you a smoker at all? No, I'm a former smoker. Oh, well. How long have you been tobacco or nicotine free? Uh, five weeks. Oh, wow. How are you feeling? Good. Okay. Gotcha. Well, I'm sure that's a uh, I'm sure that's a hard decision. Is your is your kids proud of you? Yes. Okay. Awesome. Awesome. And I got you at 61. What's your exact date of birth? Two eighteen. No way. I'm not lying. That is mine and my twin brother's birthday. Two eighteen. <laughs> what is the year? Mine's 1999. But what's your year? 19. You are a long lost twin. That is so cool. <laughs> That's a first. Cool. So 1968, 218 to 63. And then um, any conge congestive heart failure or any COPD. And you're still taking that, that Plavix. Now, any other medications that you're on? Any water pills like furosemide or carbidolol? Yes. Okay. Which one are you on? Uh, Zedia, that is for cholesterol, I believe, right? Correct. Okay. Yeah, that's common. No worries. Cool. Uh, well, I appreciate you sharing. That's really, really helpful. Ms. Deborah, how I can serve you and put you, put you in the best position. Um, before I jump into this, um, I, I forgot to ask any like AIDS, HIV, or anything like that? Yep. Okay, beautiful. I do want to give you my personal information. Just really important to me uh, with the way of the world that you would just know exactly who you're talking to today, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, so my first, do you have a pen on you? No. Okay. Do you want to grab one for me or just want to write it down? I just want to make sure you get this. I don't need to write anything down. I can remember. Oh, okay. Gotcha. I can always shoot you a, shoot you a text if you need it. But my name is Peter Roberts. Uh, legally with the state, they make me give that to you. Uh, I'm also licensed here in the state. My license number is 1950-75. Okay. Okay. And then ultimately for you, I do want to give you um, my direct number. If you need to call me or text me, you can always give me a call. This is my number. You can say that in your phone. You can put it down there as your license agent, whatever's best for you. Okay. Okay. Um, but I want to learn more about you here, um, Miss Deborah. What even had you, I guess, looking around for some life insurance? Uh, I just sold on. Oh, okay. And I guess, what had you, I guess, I guess what is the goal of the life insurance? What are you looking to accomplish? Just to cover my burial because my kids can't afford it. Oh, so your goal is to cover the burial expenses mm -hmm. because your kids, okay, so your kids would be the one okay gotcha and um i guess who would that be? you have like a few children like who specifically would be the one responsible for kind of coming out of pocket my son okay all right your son okay gotcha that's your son so since you don't have any coverage now in place it sounds like your son would be the one the man off the bat that, that would have to pay for Correct. everything oh okay okay makes sense and would you know i don't want to be you know, really personal but would he have the means to kind of come out of pocket 10 to twenty thousand for your burial expenses no Okay. Um, okay, gotcha. So I'm gonna put he wouldn't. Man, well, wow. What would he have to do? I have no idea. So you no, really no, no idea. Okay. Man, so would he have to like maybe start to go fund me or knock on doors? What does that look like for him? I don't know what he would do. Oh man. Okay. So I can hear it in your voice. You're just concerned. Something happens. You don't want your son to go through that pain, and you want to make sure he's just taken care of. Correct. Okay, gotcha. And any other like large bills or debts that you'd be worried about leaving behind in them or? No. Okay, okay, gotcha. Wow, it sounds like, you know, this is really important to you. Have you been kind of looking into this for a while now, Miss Deborah? Or? Off and on. Okay, off and on. What's, what's been kind of holding you back in the past? Is it the price? What's been kind of going on? Well, I've been, it's been a financial hardship. 
trip right now and oh, man. I'm just looking. Yeah, are you are you kinda doing okay? You're going through a lot? Well, I I'm on disability, so Yeah. Man. And especially with, one check a month. Wow, yeah. And you just wanna make sure it's something that you can sounds like you really love your your your, your boys and your family. You just wanna make sure that you have something that's affordable Correct. for every month. Okay. And have you just been looking? Has it been just outrageous, ridiculous, like on the price side of things? Yes. Oh my gosh. Tip. I hear that every single day. It makes, breaks my heart. What have they been telling you? Oh, uh, it, it's been like $30, $40 a month. Oh, 30 to $40 a month? Yes. Man, and that's just, you know, that's still, that's going to be, you, you're looking for something a little bit under than that? Yes. Okay, okay. Let me see what I can do for you. Well, I'll, I'll shoot you straight here. Um, we'll see what we can we can find for you. And you're looking for like the whole life insurance where the cost won't change. It'll be there for you forever, and it won't, um, you know, won't you know ever terminate. Is that what you're looking for? Yes. Okay. And just briefly, are you covering a burial? Or are you going cremation route? Cremation. Okay. So you're only looking for maybe five to seven thousand then. Yes. Okay. Okay. So you just want something small like that. Why? Well, I'm I'm gonna just, you know cut to the chase here and just be upfront and honest with you. So I look look at all the options for you here. There is one company that would give you the best rate statewide and ultimately um, give you the best, I guess, a policy. It's with a company called Guaranteed Trust Life. Have you heard of those guys before? No. Okay. Guaranteed Trust Life, they've been in business early 1900s. Uh, they're A-rated. I haven't missed a payout claim in over you know 70 plus years, but they are going to be the only company with your, um, your medication lists. Um, and kind of your current health conditions, that's not going to put you in one of those full two-year waiting periods, okay? Now, this is really important, okay? Every other company, Miss Deborah, they're going to see the tor tor Torsami, they're going to see the Renexa, and they're either going to decline you or put you in like a full waiting period, meaning that your policy will not pay out for two years, except for this company, Guaranteed Trust Life. They do things completely different. Um, you initially have like a one-year waiting period, and then you have in year one to two, you actually get 50% of your face value. So just know that this is gonna be the fastest way that you can get a payout, God forbid. I know that you're not going anywhere if something happened to you so your boys or you know, your kids are taken care of. Okay, this is why it's gonna be the best plan for you. Now they have a few options for you here. You can really go up, down, sideways, backwards, um, based off of your budget and your needs. Um, the first option that they have is a, a starter $7,000 plan. This is enough for the cremation. Make sure that your boys, you know, your son's taken care of, that he's never gonna be in a position where he has to borrow money, knock on doors, and have to go through that pain of figuring out how he's gonna, you know, pay for that. That 7,000 that seven thousand is gonna be the most affordable statewide for you here. Without that full two year waiting period, it would be uh, $41.25 per month. Okay. A little high, okay. Um, would you want me to kind of like, like peter it down a little bit? Maybe look at like a 6,000. You said 41.25 a month? That will never change. This is gonna be the most affordable for you statewide. That'll cover all of it, yes ma'am. $7,000 policy? $7,000 policy without one of those full two year waiting periods, correct. Do you feel like that could give you the peace of mind that you're looking for? It is, but I'd have to think about it. Okay, let me just put that down on your notes. I'm just gonna save that so we can think about it together and just so we can, you know, you need to think about, is it more of like the price or is it just not sure if you need it? Like walk me through. The price is mm. my main concern, but okay. I have to think about it and see what I want to do. Okay. Yeah, I mean... Because I only get paid once a month. I get paid the third Wednesday of every month. Oh, yeah. And, you know, so you wanted to make sure that you could, you could kind of like pair it with the, the third Wednesday? Yes. Okay. And I was going to ask, I was going to tell you that because the biggest thing is actually seeing if they could qualify you because, you know, we don't have to start anything today, Miss Donna. Our goal would just to be see if they can get you in the door, and then you can always start that payment on the third Wednesday directly with your disability check. Would that kind of be best for you? Probably. Okay. Do you think that $40, $41 would you know be comfortable for you? Yes. Okay. So what we can do for you, and you know, cross with it, I this is going to be the best plan for you. Ms. Deborah, we can see we get you approved, and then we can have everything kind of start on that you know third Wednesday of the month so that you have to no longer have to worry about this burden for your son. Does that sound fair? 
Yep. Okay, and who do you, do you want to put him on here as the beneficiary or? Yes. Okay, we're going to put him down. And what's his name? Anthony. Okay, Anthony. Okay. Okay, let me put the A-N-G. A-N-G. Anthony. Does he live in town with you or? or uh... I actually live with him. Oh, gotcha. So if we do, if we're able to help you, do you just, can you just do me a favor? Could you just give him my number? I can't stress this enough. It's really important that he knows who to go to if something happens to his mother. Okay. Um, okay. I just take this stuff really, really seriously. And I forgot to ask you a COVID question. Did you, did you happen to ever have COVID-19 in the last 30 days? No. Okay. Wow. You've been, uh, been able to sneak around it. That's awesome. Okay. Here. I'm gonna log in and then do you want to put like a middle initial in here or should we leave that off? Uh, my middle initial or his? Uh, yours. So we're gonna put your policy. We're gonna. Schema. L. Okay. Then computers are being slow today. Okay. Hit continue. Okay. So we're gonna make sure I spell all your name uh, on here correctly. So I got L as the middle initial. Okay, here. And then hit continue, and then Deborah D E, and then we're gonna hit apply, and we're gonna go for the seven thousand of coverage. So we're gonna hit the whole life. We're gonna go for the seven thousand, and you have. It says the question: Have you used any tobacco products in the last twelve months? Would that be a, that would be a yes, correct? Yes. Okay. We're gonna hit yes. We're gonna apply for the forty one twenty five, and then the policy. Do you want it to come like electronically, or you rather come in the mail? Uh, in the mail. Okay. Put it in the mail, and then what's a good height and weight to put on here? Height is five. Okay, two, six. And then we're gonna put the mailing address on here. As let me just see if you have that on there. Uh, what's the best mailing address for you? I don't. I don't see that on here. Two. And then did you see that bridge collapse over in Baltimore? Yeah, I did. Oh man, that's where I'm from. I used to look at that bridge every day. I would just look at it, and now it's gone. Unbelie yeah. Unbelievable. Can't make it up. I'll tell you that. Nope. Uh, what's a good uh, What's a good uh, zip code for you here? Oh. Now, what's the next step up from the 7,000? Yeah, um, they have a 10,000 or a 7. You can go up by thousands, actually. You can go 7, 8, 9, and 10. What's the $10,000? Yes, ma'am. 10,000, I'll give you the 10,000 would be, uh, it's $57 a month even. Let's do that one. Okay, I'll increase it. We'll just lower it, go up a little bit. Let me go back to hit. Okay. Give them a little extra. okay, here, so let's raise it up to 10,000. Okay, I just up, upgraded it there for you, and that's never going to change. Don't want you, we'll hit the 10,000. Okay, and then I got to put your, it, since I went back, I have to put your height and weight back on there again. Since it's okay, here, med bang. No, I don't know if this is right. Let me see if I can, you might have to double check it for me, but it's saying that the, the meta bank routing number, it's popping up here, it's two seven. Okay. Hush up. <laughs> Hold on, let me get oh. my wallet. I have the routing number. Okay, yeah, sometimes they always change. <laughs> you got some got some puppies over there, huh? Uh yeah. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna repeat that back to you. Zero seven. Yep. Okay, and the count number? Two. Correct. Okay, checking, and I put that there. Beautiful. Hit continue. And we're gonna be wrapping up and good to go here for you. Um, and sure name is Deborah. And then third Wednesday. I'll have that policy mailed out to you before that start day as well. Um, the last step here for you is just to confirm. I gotta, I gotta read this before I submit it. So before submitting this application, do you, Miss Deborah, agree to you know your premium payment of fifty-seven dollars uh, per month on the third Wednesday for a death benefit amount of ten thousand? Um, do you agree to apply and submit for life insurance? If so, please state yes. Yes. Okay. Hit continue, and then I gotta hit next. Okay. They're gonna send you one little place where you can do like a little. Signature I gotta sign on my end and then we'll get all this wrapped up. I'll have an I'll have a policy number for you. I'll be good to go. Well 
Cause Deborah, I got some good news and I got the old some good some bad news. What do you want first? The bad news. Bad news is you're gonna be stuck with me because you have been approved. So I'm gonna be checking up on you. I won't be bothering you over here, but I will be checking up on you. Um, you okay. did. Good news is you did get approved for this coverage here. So congratulations. Um, this policy again will be starting on the third Wednesday. Um, you know, I just want to say congratulations on and taking this step. I know it's been kind of, um, I guess, concerning to you, to, you know, for for you as a mom. But you know, I'm gonna want you to know I'm gonna be here for you and and for your son most importantly. Hey, Roderick. Yes. How you doing, my friend? All right. You hanging in there, okay? Oh, yeah. Good, good. The reason I was calling you, I'm sorry to get with you yesterday. I was a little tied up here. Um, was in regards to the request you sent in. Um, you listed that your children would be your beneficiary. Remember filling that out? Yes. Okay. I'll make sure I got you on here. I got your birth. I got you at age 54. Is that right? Yes. Okay. And it looks like you put down that you want to cover like your funeral and final expenses. Is that all about right? Yes. Okay. Gotcha. Do you have anything in place right now, Mr. Roderick? No. Okay, gotcha. And um, I guess what is the goal of the life insurance other than the burial expenses? Anything else that you're looking to accomplish? But, uh, what is the goal? What is the goal of the life insurance for you? Is it just mainly the final expenses? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, Mr. Rock, well, let me explain kind of what we do is that we specifically help uh, seniors find the best rate statewide. We work with over 20 plus companies, and my job. Mm -hmm. Okay, good, good, good. Oh, this is looking really good here. And then. Um, I got you 54. What's your like exact date of birth? Nine. Okay, we got that on there for you. And then any cancers, uh, strokes, um, you know, any kidney disease? Uh, is it stage one renal or is it just stage three? What, what does that look like for you? Are you are you on dialysis or no? Okay. Well, I appreciate it. that's not gonna that's not gonna be an issue for us. We actually specialize in that as well. That's not gonna be an issue at all. Appreciate you sharing that. And then, are you a smoker? Okay. Okay. And then, um, what's a good height and weight for you? You play basketball on your day? That's, I mean, you're a tall, tall guy. Yes. Oh, man. That's awesome. Okay, and then um, what medications do they have you on? Are you on amlodipine? Are you on lisinopril? What, what do they have you on right now? Okay, are you taking any heart medications like uh, um, any, any like water pills like furosemide? Okay, what other medications do you have? I just want to make sure I put them all in here. Um, I don't know. I can, I can call them. I can keep biting you on that one. Oh, no worries. Um, let me see. You got the amlodipine, lisinopril. Are you on carvedilol? Carvedilol. Did they ever say like a little bit of congestive heart failure? That's all under control? Yes. Okay. And then how about water pills? Are you on, um, anything like metropolol or ferrosamide? Do you have any like awaiting surgeries or organ transplants, anything like that? Good, good, good. Well, before I jump into this, Mr. Rodder, I do want to give you my information. Do you have like a pen on you or paper? What are you buying? Oh man. Man, you out there shopping, huh? Yeah. Oh man, always the kids are, kids are always trying to make you buy something, aren't they? Yes, goodness. Oh my goodness. Well I'll feel for you. Well, I'll shoot you a text over my information. Just really important, Mr. Roderick, that you know who you're talking to. Um, I just want to learn more about you. Like, what had you even looking around for some life insurance? Yes. What had you looking around for something like this? Um, because um, I thought, well, I had a thing, and I thought it was life insurance, but it was just accidental insurance. I thought I was paying life insurance, and I thought it was just accidental insurance. <laughs> wow. Okay. So, so you're a little kind of bummed out that you don't have life. I guess, what's the goal? Why is it important for you to buy life insurance? Yes, no, we don't burden on my family or something. Okay. No burden to your family. And what, what type of burden are you most worried about? What does that look like to you? Like you said, was, you know, something happened. We like going up to anything. Things that happen. You know, I'm trying to do it. I'm trying to do it. Oh wow! And when you say the financial bills, is it like the funeral expenses? What what type of bills are you really worried about? Um, 
Wow, so you're just worried if something happens to you that you want to make sure that there's no burden passed on to your loved ones and that they're not paying your funeral expenses? Yes. Wow. And as a man, I mean, that's, um, you know, something that you want to make sure is taken care of for your family. You know, who would that be? I mean, I'm concerned for you. I mean, since you don't have any coverage in place, who would it be that would be kind of stuck right now with all those burdens? Who would that be? Who would be stuck with these bills if something happened to you? Oh, uh, wow. Your son would... Wow. So your son would have to come out of pocket. Would he be in a position to pay for like 15000 of your funeral expenses? Uh, he probably would. Okay, he would. Okay, good. So let's put that down that he would. I mean, this might sound kind of absolutely unbelievable, but like why not just have him... Have him kind of just do it. Okay. So, so he's got his own family, and you don't want to put that onto him, maybe? No. Okay. Wow. And I guess what would that do for you as a father, knowing that your son would never have to come out of pocket for that? That would make you feel good. Yes. Wow. I can I can hear in your voice. I mean, you've. I guess already valued the life insurance but you had to have had the wrong policy I'm, I'm so sorry to hear that and um in regard to like are there any other bills or other you know burdens that you'd be worried about leaving behind to him okay so your goal is to make sure hey when i go to bed at night you know if something happens to me and my son's not paying for my funeral expenses he's in a good spot because he's got a family of his own and i don't want to put this large bill onto him right Yes. Wow, wow. Wow, this sounds so important to you, man, Mr. Roderick. I mean, have you been looking into this for a while now, or is this something that you realize you just kind of need? No, I've been always been looking at you. Oh, man. You've been had. What, what's been kind of going on? Um, nothing really. I've been. Nothing. You just said my young folks died and born my son. Young guy, younger than me, around in my city. So it's been so much going on. Wow. And you, man, so it sounds like you've lost all your close friends. Yeah, I lost a couple close friends. We went to do and I already raised money. Mm. So they didn't have insurance? Yes. Oh my. So have you seen firsthand, you know, the impact of what it looks like to not have life insurance? Yes. Oh my gosh, I can, and you've just seen how hard it's been on their family. It sounds like as a man, you, you just love your family. You don't want that to kind of be the case for them. Yes. Wow. Okay. I, I'm hearing you out, man. Well, uh, I'm going to do my absolute best for you. And have you been getting like a few quotes? Have they been too high? Why haven't you been able to find any insurance? Um, I didn't, I, I've been dead about maybe about three. And were, and were they just putting you with like a waiting period or was it too expensive? What have they been telling you? Some of them been kind of high. Sheesh. Like, uh, okay. Hitting you over the head? What are they? Mm -hmm. uh, look around. You're the best. You're the best. You're the best. You, you want the best price and the best value, right? Yes. What have they? I mean, this is. Well, I hear this every single day. It seems like everyone is just hit with these expensive prices. It's ridiculous. What have they been telling you? Sheesh. 60 bucks? Yes. You're, you have to be lying. People are telling you $60 for 10000 mm -hmm. Unbelievable. And they're probably going to put you in one of those damn two-year waiting periods, aren't they? Yeah. Unbelievable. That's ridiculous. Well, I'm going to do my absolute best here because it seems like that is way too high for what... I mean, you're, you're healthy. That makes no sense. Well, this is looking really good for us here. Um, there looks like there's a really, really affordable option for you here, which is awesome. Um, you know, would you say just having like a little something in place, Mr. Roderick, would that be better than I guess having nothing at all? Yes. Uh -huh. Okay. And are you planning for a burial or are you going cremation? No burial. Okay. So you need at least, you know, a good 20, you know, 15 to 20,000 minimum to cover all the burial expenses, what you're looking for? Yes. Okay. Well, this is looking good on my end, really, really good here. And, um, I guess what would that do for you? How would that make you feel? Do you believe like, you know, having life insurance could be the solution to all your worry? Would this help give you the peace of mind? Yes. Okay. What makes you say that? Um, I just feel like it'll be a burden off me worrying about, mm. you know, and you know you got it. So, you know, you know, make, make 
make your day better. Yeah. I can tell it's been kind of pressing on your mind lately. I can hear it in your voice, and you just want to kind of get this off the bucket list, right? Yeah. I can hear it, and it's just, as a man, you want to make sure your boy's taken care of. I can, I can totally understand. And um, Well, this is looking good. If I can help you find something that's both comfortable and affordable for you, we work with people in, like, disability or Social Security. Would there be anything holding you back to seeing if we can get you approved here today? No. Okay. And then, um, this is really important. Some companies will give you, I'm seeing here, additional discount do you happen to have one of those like check-in accounts in the united states of america no okay no let me just put that down you just have like one of those direct express cards yes okay no okay here no checking okay. did they ever give you a cash app though because i'm trying to get you a discount yes i got a cash app okay that'll help give you a 15 percent. good 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 okay well i want to make sure this is what you're looking for it's whole life insurance okay so Roderick, something where the cost will never, you know, change on you. It'll be there for you forever, and it will never expire, and it will always be there for your son. Is that what you're looking for? Yes. Okay. Well, this is good news. I plugged in all your information here. It shows that you're eligible for the best option statewide out of all 26 companies. It's with a company called Sub. Have you heard of those guys before? No. Okay. Well, you probably have. They've been in business since the early 60s. They are A rated with the state and they haven't missed a payout claim in over 60 plus years and they pay out their claims in 24 to 48 hours. A really well known and established company. Okay. Now, I want to explain to you, Miss Roger, this is really, really, really important why this is going to be the best plan for you. Okay. They are one of the, they are the only company with your medications as well as with that you know, kidney disease stage three that will not put you in one of those two year waiting periods, okay? Which means that if something were to happen to you tomorrow, that your son will get that full policy payout. Every company like Lincoln Heritage, Colonial Pen, Mutual Omaha, they're gonna make you wait two years except this company. Do you see how important that is? Yes. And would that give you the peace of mind knowing that you don't have to wait two years? Oh, yes. Okay. Well, this is why it's coming. I'm going to do my best here for you. Now, they have three options. You can go up, down, based off of your budget and your needs. We just got to work together, Mr. Roger, to make sure we can find you something that's comfortable and affordable for you, okay? Now, they have an option here is the starter option for you. They have like a $12,000 starter plan for you. This is for those who are on a really fixed income who want to make sure that they have at least all their burial expenses taken care of. It's not going to leave really you know, too much behind to your kids. But it's going to make sure, hey, that the burial is taken care of and that you never have to worry about leaving this burden on to your, to your son. Okay, The $10,000 policy, if you can get approved, would cover those burial arrangements start to finish and make sure that you never have to worry about this ever again and your son's not in this tight position. He's not starting to go fund me. The $12,000 would be um, it's way cheaper than what you heard in the past. The $12,000 would be $47.21 per month Okay, with no waiting period. The second option is the 15,000. Okay, the 15,000, this is the most common that we see most of our seniors go with or you know, they want to make sure that the burial is completely taken care of now and into the future, uh, at least for the next, you know, many many years and ultimately that you can go to bed at night as a man knowing that hey, my son will never have to worry about it. That 15,000 with no again, no waiting period would be $59.01 per month, okay? And then the last option is the 20000 This is the most that you could qualify for, for that immediate day one coverage. This would cover all of your burial expenses and leave a few thousand dollars left over to your son. I don't know if I recommend this, but if you want to cover those you know, burial costs for the next 30 plus years, this is what that would cover for you. That 20000 you know, crossing our fingers, if we can get you approved, would be $78.68 per month. Okay? So... Did you get that? Yes. Okay. So again, this is the best option for you statewide. But as a as a father, do you feel like the twelve thousand or the fifteen thousand? What would give you give you that most peace of mind? Twelve thousand would be good. And what? I already have my own plot and everything already. Oh, you already got the plot and everything? Yes. Okay. Well, that twelve thousand. Do you think that twelve thousand for that forty seven dollars would be comfortable and affordable for you every single month? Okay, and I just want to make sure too, you can always increase it, but um, what we can do for you, I got to cross my fingers here, Mr. Mr. Rod, we can see if we can get you approved for that 12000 of coverage, and then if we do get you approved, you can then put your beneficiaries on there, and then you can set up for the date that you want everything to kind of kick in. Does that all sound fair for you? Oh, yeah. Okay, and who do you want to put on your, on your policy? Who's, who's going to be the beneficiary? I found it. 
it's gonna give me a policy number and then in regards to funding this you're, you're gonna be the one the owner and the payer correct yes okay and it's gonna get us that forty seven dollars and twenty one cents nothing starts until the third uh, will you be funding that with that that cash app you said yes okay I need you to pull that out for me that's a checking account what's the what's the routing number there Let me see if I can pull it up here. Let me see here. It's pulling up one. It starts like this. It's zero four. Let me see. And will you be able to like to load the money there on your cash app for the third every month? Yes. Okay, I just want to make sure because a lot of companies don't take like cards, so this is why we're able to get you the best plan is because you have a routing account number. So Yes. Thomasville, Georgia. Okay, do you have the mobile banking app? I can try to help you with it if you go into the Cash App. Um, it's in my other phone. I ain't got it on this phone. It's in my other phone. Oh, you got two phones? Yeah. Um, what could we do? I can do it so when we get back home, I'll be home probably in the next 15 minutes. Okay. Yeah. What I can do, because I'll have to close, it'll make me close the application. What I can do is I can put like a like a temporary hold, and then I can call you, but in order to do a temporary hold, they make me put like, I don't want to. I don't want to delete all this. Um, do you have your card on you? We can just put that down for now, and we can change it when you get home. Does that work? Yes. Okay. What is uh? What's is it a Mastercard or a Visa? Visa. Okay. We'll put Visa here, and then what's the expiration date? Um, oh man. One thirty. Okay. Cool. I'll I'll send you a, a reminder. But I have a policy number. But I want to make sure we submit it the right way, so that you can you know make sure everything's taken care of. So I'll call you at one thirty, Mr. Roderick, from this number. Again, um, I'm going to be here to help you, so I'll call you at 1.30. All right, partner? Okay. All right, see you, see you in a bit. All right, bye. All right, guys, so I want to end the video. I'm going to leave some of the uncut of the other sales calls that I did. Uh, we had four presentations. We made uh, 45 dials and sold two policies to some great people. But that's us. morning session here on a Saturday of how we dial, how we finish this thing, and ultimately how you can build that trust, build that rapport, and help a ton of people. Got two appointments set up for Monday as well that I think they're going to come through. But hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's been a lot of fun just teaching you how I kind of work on Saturdays. Hanging out for a little bit and ultimately I'm um, going to go finish some other business stuff there to end up our Saturday. Uh, and I hope you guys crush it. I hope you guys love these videos. If you want more, let me know. Um, selling the final expense just like I did here changed my life. And I hope this gives you guys context of how you can sell. How you can you know help people and do it while also having fun. Enjoy your day, crush Saturday, and I'll see you guys soon. Take care. Peace. Bye.